Okay, we're back from break, and we want to finish up the last video on building your banner. And this is very easy on this part. I'm just going to make it pretty simple. I just want to extend all these keys, keyframes right here, so I'm going to highlight them. And the trick is to hold down the control key. Select each one. Sorry about that. Keep the control key down and select all the ones that you want them to go to. And hit F5. Ta-da! You extended all your text now. So your text and your button and everything below here are now extended across those keyframes. So why do I want to do that? Because I want to come along here now, and the final thing I want to do, the final thing I want to do is create a button here and animate it. Okay? So I have this learn more text right here, and want to, and I have a little symbol here, but I actually want to turn that all into a button. So I'm gonna click one, and then I'm gonna click the other. So they're both highlighted using that what? Hold down the shift key, hit one, and then hit the other. So you have them both highlighted. Now at this point, you just hit the F8 key, and I want to turn those into what? a button, right? I'll call this button arrow and I'll turn it into a button. Hit OK. Now let's do something really cool here. Let's double click on this and when you do that you can see there's actually four frames. Right now I only see one. But I'm going to hit my F6 key, F6 key, F6 key and now I have four frames. And I can animate those. So over, I actually want something to happen here. So when it's over I'd actually like to see like a drop shadow. Okay? So what I'm going to do is go to where? Have an idea? Probably. To my, yeah, absolutely. There you go. You're getting it. Good job. Let's go to properties. And like I said, every good thing is where? In the bottom. In the bottom of the cup. And right now, in order to get the correct properties, let's go back to properties going on here. There you go. I really don't have a lot of properties going on this because it's not really a movie clip. So I'm actually going to turn this into a movie clip. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to uh, convert symbol. And I'll turn that into a movie clip. And I can just call that uh, down state or over state. And in this particular state, I'm actually going to want to put a little drop shadow. So now if I go to properties and I look at that property to see what's in that, I have all these wonderful things I can choose from. Let's just go ahead and come along here and hit the add filter. I'm going to put a drop shadow. And I'm going to make that drop shadow, believe it or not, white. There you go. Look at that little white right there. Now when I go ahead and animate this, I go file save control save that control test movie control enter either one control or actually a control test movie very good and here's my animation right there coming up and in the next animation here's my button I can click on that button see how it's highlighting and I click that and go somewhere but I can't, I'm not going anywhere right now what do I need to do one more thing I gotta add what to it I gotta add some code. I wanna go somewhere. Now is it hard to add code to a button and make it do something? No. Absolutely not. So let's go back one of our breadcrumbs back to the screen. Right to Here's my button, right there you go. And let's go to my code snippets and let's add a URL to it. What I need to do is I need to go to properties and give it a name. And I'm just gonna call it this button here, we'll call it my button. Okay. The little M so we camel cap. Good. And that's there. Let's go to our code snippets. And what I actually want to do is I'm actually going to make another keyframe right here. Okay, let's go right here. Let's go ahead and add some code to this button. So go to code snippets. Web page. Right. There's the code right there, but the question is where is that going? Uh, I don't like I don't know where that code there it is. See that keyframe right there? There's the code right there at the top. You see that? And you can see that action is doing what? It's referring to my button, which is what? The graphic my button. And you want to make sure that's how you want it to roll. Okay? Uh, so let's run it again and see if we get an error. And always be there. And there's my button. Let's click on it. Ta-da! It took me to Adobe. The many times! So it works. So I'm actually not cons I'm actually not con uh, connected to the server, so it's not actually taking me there. But if I was connected to the server, it would take me right to Google. Okay? You got the idea? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, you ready to make your banner? Oh, I'm ready to take a break. Are you going to impress me? I'd like to make one very important point about this particular animation before we continue, before we close. And what you see here is you actually see the animation coming up the way it's supposed to. And so we're coming along the animation. The first frame is there. And the second frame is then you have this action script right here 
which controls the button. And when you click on that, you go to a website, and then it runs the rest of the animation, and you go back to the beginning. And what's bad, what is bad programming and what is bad coding is this having this action script appear here and actually running over it over and over again. You actually do not want to do that. That's not the way to do this. And what you're going to find out in the future, and not in this lesson, but in the future lesson, is we're actually going to encapsulate all this under the action script. So all this animation right here will actually become one frame all on frame one and on the top of that frame will be the action script which refers to it so we can actually control animation with inside of animation gonna show you how to do that in a future video but this is enough to get you started in thinking about creating banners so thanks for listening this is Mike Lively and I'll see you next time